Some closing thoughts on ABC Pyro. In Pyro, the stain itself becomes a hardening agent, so I would not use hardener in the fixer. Also, hardener reacts in such a way that it lowers contrast. Certainly a chemical stop bath does also, so only use a 30 second water rinse with your pyro stop bath. Never use acetic or citric acid. I hear people say that older technology films develop more effectively in pyro. Well, I'm not so sure that that's true. T-Max certainly develops with a very strong pyro stain. And Ilford's Delta works extremely well, too. Myself, I do favor the older technologies, and I use Ilford's FP4 and HP5, and both work incredibly well with pyro, any pyro, actually. Same for the Burger Films. I know also that Tri-X works extremely well. Development times in ABC can run for 8 to 15 minutes, or even longer. For me, exposing with FP4 at 125 ASA, I develop for 8 minutes normally using the tray agitation method that was shown previously. As you continue to develop, the density will not block or bleach, and you won't gain fog. So if during inspection you are sure your negative needs more contrast, well, keep processing. Edward Weston really had it right when he said something to the effect of know your materials. One camera, one lens, one developer, one paper. Uh, just like a musician, to improve you must practice with what you have. So decide on your materials carefully and then stick with them. When you do switch to another product, do so because you know and understand the limitations of that material, not because so-and-so uses it and says it's better. Myself, I strive for ideal, and so it's back to the basics for me. Big cameras, contact prints, contact papers, contrasty negatives with ABC Pyro, and prints using Amidol. Well, anyway, good luck with your search and keep those film holders loaded.